Hello and good evening. So for tonight, what I'm doing, it's my evening off. Uh, my work week starts Saturday morning, so today's Friday. What I usually do Friday evenings is I go around, check the plants, because the next few days I'm going to be working and I don't even get a chance to enjoy them or look at them. So as you see, I like to hang them in this room. This is my hanging plant room um, where I do like my studies and do zooming and stuff like that for work. So um, I have one here and there she is. And what I do is I just check over the leaves and if they need wiped down, I'll wipe them down, give them some water and make sure that they are pest free. Uh, no other issues are happening with them and just looking to make sure that they are as healthy as possible. Okay, so I have a neck pillow here since I have them on the hanging. This part likes to tip, so I usually use a little neck pillow. I set it down and then I put the plant on top of that because that helps to stabilize it, then it's not flopping all around. I don't have to take it off the hook. It can be damaging for the plant when I try to take it off of the net that it's in the hanger. So what I do is I usually just try to work with it in the hanger and I do not take it off the hanger. I just try to find a place where when I let it go, it doesn't cause a lot of stress on the leaves and it doesn't cause any of the leaves to fold or go in a way that's unnatural to the form of the plant. Then I have a pair of scissors that I keep. And then any leaves that are on their way out, for example, this leaf here is very brown and very crispy. I found another one here. So these ones, I could just let them be because they're not harming the plant, but for me, I like to see them in the best shape possible. So I do go ahead and I usually don't wait for them to fall off. I usually will either, if they're really on their way gone, see this one's still hanging on a little. I don't want to pull it because I don't want to damage the plant. So I'll go ahead and I'll just cut that out. I'll go as close to the base as possible. Being careful that I don't cut healthy because I've done that. So be careful because you don't want to cut your plant and then you knock off good leaves. So I'm literally, just cutting off the crispy ones. And that's just the way it is. You get new leaves, you get leaves that are done. So for my plants, I always look at them. I cut off the old ones. Some people say they still get energy from them, but I keep my plants for their beauty. And when it looks like this, I figure it's just time to get rid of it. Do what makes you feel good. I like to look at them. So I cut that off and you see, it's not that many. There's a lot more new ones and I'll give you a close up. I'm just spinning it, just taking a look. And I'm also checking the front of the leaves, the back of the leaves, making sure I'm not missing anything because you don't want to wait until you have a plant that looks unhealthy to realize there's something wrong. This leaf is also starting to get some crisping on the edges. It's probably, I believe it's one of the older leaves that it's had. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about this. It's got enough of the green on it that I know it's still getting a lot of benefit from keeping it. So this one I will not cut off. I'm gonna leave this one. I've got one with a little tip here. So that tip I'm just gonna pinch off. But the rest of them look really good. And I'm just continuing to check it. With these, because they're hanging, I have it in a cash pot. What I do is I have the nursery pot inside. I have upsized them. But if you see, I have my nursery pot inside of this because I like to water it. And then whatever's in the bottom, sometimes I'll put little pebbles down there and the little pebbles will help to raise it up so it doesn't sit there and then they get the evaporated water. And that helps because like on the days where I work multiple 12 hour shifts in a row and I don't look at them, I don't want them to suffer. Most of these plants are tropical. I live in Pennsylvania. It is not tropical in Pennsylvania. It's actually beautifully four seasons, but when it is cold, it is frigid. All right, so I'm actually, okay, everything looks 
as it should. So let me give you some close-ups of what she looks like. All right, she looks pretty big from this angle. So you can see the pattern on those leaves. And that's what I was talking about, my tip that I just pinched off. And like I said, she used to be called the Calathea Musicala, I believe. And now I believe it's called the Calathea Network. Since I got her, which was, I believe I got her. The very beginning of 2020 or the very end of 2019, she was a lot smaller. I've moved her up in pot one time. Oh, there's a little, but that's all right. She's so gorgeous. And then when I look at them, I also check the backs because I want to make sure that there's no pests happening on the backs of these leaves. So I inspect not only the front, the stems, but the back because that's where the spider mites like to live. And you do not want to be in a situation where the spider mites come. And you miss them because if you miss them, that can take your whole plant. Okay, for watering, I use filtered water. I usually will filter warm water through my water pitcher. And, you know, I just got the one that was a price that was convenient for me. I didn't want to spend too much. And, you know, I don't get one that was the cheapest. I just got the one that was convenient for me. Once I run it through, I put it in here. In here, I have the mosquito bits because I do get fungus gnats and they are a nightmare because they do fly in your face. So I want to be comfortable when I'm watching them and looking at them and relaxing. So I try to keep this, uh, the fungus gnats to a minimum. I've never been able to completely get rid of them, but I do get to the point where I literally will see one every couple days. And then, you know, I just have my traps out, but the water I use has the mosquito bits in there. So I water them with this water, the distilled water that I put in here. Sometimes I let it sit overnight, thinking in my head it'll help it dissolve more. But I go in and I like this style of watering can because it helps me have more control where when I try to go straight from the pitcher, that's a lot more water. And I'd like to have more control of where the water is going. Because since I don't want to take it off the hanger, I have to be careful that I don't pour too much. So I go slow. And then I just work my way through the sections. I give it a moment. Because wet soil picks up more water than dry soil. So I give it a moment so it gets wet. And then I'll give it a little more water. Since I'm not at the sink, if I was at the sink, I would just let it run through for the plants that do not need filtered water. But this plant specifically needs filtered water because she will get crackled and brown edges. So the one here that has it, I think she has it because this is an old leaf. You would see it all over many leaves. So you see she has good color on her leaves. So I'm happy with her. I'm gonna to continue to give her the filtered water. So now it's been a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and give her another little round of water and I'm gonna to check to see if it's gone all the way down to the bottom. Okay, I am happy with her. And I'm just making sure she's lined back up well. That way when I take her over to the hang, the hook, she's ready to go. And I'm just looking to make sure that I put her back up the way she was because the way she's growing, I want to respect the way she's growing and not disturb the leaves. Since I don't really rotate my plants, I used to. 
but I just let them grow the way they like to grow now. I just let them grow in the pattern and I stop rotating them. Okay, I found my spot. All right, here we go. I got my two-step ladder. Let me make sure this is her front. No, I got her backwards. She goes this way. Okay. And then you'll see her leaves are upturned a bit, but it is nighttime. And she does not fold up quite as pronounced as some of the others, such as these here. They really fold up at night. She doesn't do it quite as dramatically, but you can see that's just the nature of this family of plants. Okay, so the same thing that I just did with her, I'm going to just look at all the other ones. Sometimes I don't take them down. It just depends um, on how it's looking and how much I want to investigate what's going on in the pot. So thank you for coming and have a good evening.